guys, that's Fash Rafia. Welcome back to another video. It's been quite a bit. I think it's been about two, three weeks since I last uploaded a video. But to be honest, it's hard finding time to make videos with school, exams and everything like that. But I'm here, back again today to explain what is ProRes on the iPhone 13 Pro series and should you be using it. Before we start the video though, just saying, this is the iPhone 13 Pro currently recording and me talking to the camera is actually in ProRes. And I know this is going to take up a whole load of storage on my device, but you know what, it's for the content. ProRes was officially announced on stage with along the iPhone 13 Pro series and is scheduled to come in an update, which is actually iOS 15.1. So I did install the software and I did get the option in the camera app. It's Apple's own video codec, which they designed, which is used in cinema production, like in post-production editing, and also in some cinema grade cameras. Its upside is that it's extremely high quality and it's a breeze to edit with. And you also have a whole range of options with ProRes video. However, like I said, it is very high quality, which means files will also be ginormous. By that, I mean basically the file size is about a minute on some cameras can be about six gigabytes, which is huge. And the iPhone 13 Pro series, the 128 gigabyte is limited to 1080p whereas the 256 and above is up to 4k in ProRes which is why they released the one terabyte iPhones this year. So ProRes definitely has its ups and definitely has its downs. Now should you be using ProRes on your iPhone 13 Pro? If you have a 128 gigabyte iPhone certainly not. You will be using up that space extremely extremely quickly and that's just my straight up answer. A second scenario is if you're the type of person who just records family events or something to keep as a memory or you occasionally share videos you take on your iPhone with your friend then I'd also keep this setting off as I said before the file sizes are ginormous which means sharing is just going to be another hassle. And the iPhone video quality by itself without ProRes is also amazing. Now if you're someone like me who makes YouTube videos and has a lot of storage, actually that part isn't me, if you're someone who makes videos and edits a lot of videos and you have a lot of storage space, then yes, I definitely say go with ProRes. It will be much easier to edit on your computer and it will also give you more options. Anyway, you guys have seen me talking ProRes for a bit. Here's some shots I captured with the iPhone 13 Pro in ProRes outside. <laughs> 